Reports of pain in the U.S. haven't changed in the past 20 years, but the number of opioid prescriptions has quadrupled. That's according to a new report from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. I spoke with Dr. Patrice Harris from the American Medical Association, and she says there are other options when it comes to reducing pain. There are other alternatives to opioids. For instance, there are other medications. Also, we have non-medication therapies such as physical therapy, uh, biofeedback, massage therapy. Dr. Harris also says sometimes insurance companies don't cover those alternative treatments and people end up turning to opioids. WPBF 25 News parent company Hearst Television is part of an initiative to help inform, educate, and combat the opioid crisis. For more information, go to our website, WPBF.com, and click on the State of Addiction section. We have information about getting treatment for addiction and what Florida is doing to battle this ongoing crisis.